I'm actually doing it through my incognito tab because my original tab is set in my new email. Yeah, I guess we can start. Why are you still holding your old email? What? Uh, why do you still have your old email? Uh, I don't, uh, I because I'm the organizer, and the old email is the organizer for this meeting. So I'm using it. Okay, anyway, so this session will be on uh, functions. So this session will be on function and uh, why you should use them uh, and also how you should. Uh, and uh, before that, uh, wasn't do you like uh, have a background on C or because I'm not sure if you get no bro no. somewhat so basically you had done flow graph before right if you have yeah. that uh, you know the syntax ah, then yes, it is yes. the same thing ah yes yes yeah also wasn't you can uh, see the old uh, like uh, YouTube recording as such for uh, uh, reference. Yeah, I mean, um, okay. I, I, I don't think that it'll be that difficult. If you are stuck anywhere, you can ask, I mean, on any syntax problem. Okay. Or okay. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Functions. Uh, functions are an interesting bunch. Uh, they let you repeat tasks uh, continuously without the hassle of uh, uh, writing the same piece of code again and again. Uh, as such, it is important to write functions uh, in a proper way so that the uh, computers understand. Uh, for the past three classes, I've been emphasizing that computers are dumb and we'll have to tell it everything. And that's exactly what we're going to do with functions. So, there are just a minute. Okay. okay. So one of the main advantages to use uh, functions uh, is that first can uh, be broken down into small, small bits of code, and you can uh, just maintain that piece of code in case something goes wrong. Uh, so maintenance is uh, better. Other one is uh, efficient. Efficiency. You, can, you don't have to uh, write the same piece of code again and again uh, through the program as such. Uh, the last but not least, uh, in C, uh, you can uh, link other C files to your C file using this command called. Uh, CC and you can just type your uh, C file and we'll, uh, get all the functions you have written in that file from uh, from C. Uh, sorry, from uh, the other file. Vasan, uh, do you have a background in Python? Yes, somewhat. Okay, Not so much. The CC is equivalent to the import uh, function in Python. Okay. So yeah, that is the. Syntax as such is pretty straightforward. Hey, um, I have one doubt, uh, one doubt. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, in this CC thing, okay, will this directly import it from my computer or uh, because this GDB is an online thing, so I have to uh, bring it from another by copying the link of another thing we have to copy from there or some word like that? If, if you're running an offline compiler, then it will work. Uh, with online compiler, I haven't tried it, but I'm, I don't think so it will work. Okay, thank you. Okay, but then I am just saying that CC exists. That's all. So even if it's uh, just uh, in offline case also, I will just uh, type CC and then the files uh, location and it will just just directly pull it up from there. Exactly. So while okay. compiling, it will take include that file. What does CC stand for in email terms? Carbon copy, right? Yes. So that's yes. what it does. Okay. Okay. So to declare, uh, okay, so this is the main function as such. This is the function which uh, gets executed the first in the hierarchy of execution. 
so like uh, this is where the pre processor uh, directives are so under the pre processor directive uh, you can declare uh, variables so if i say in a this a can be you the same a will be used everywhere even if you declare inside this a will be used first and generally this a will be used okay so we will see an example okay i have tried this yet so let us put all another don't worry so Don't forget semicolon people, please. There we go. So it prints 10 and hello world. Is it okay or should I zoom in a little bit? It's okay. So now A has a global scope. Since it's an external variable, uh, it has a global scope. When I declare in A over here, or not in J in B over here, it has a local scope. This variable B is uh, not the same. Uh, then it's pretty much useful only in the neighborhood of uh, in, within the main function as such. So functions, when you're declaring functions, you'll have to, uh, they will have to be global scope. If you put them inside the main function, the compiler will call you an idiot. So now let's uh, declare a simple function. Let's call it print underscore my underscore h okay this is int mean over here so what this int does is i am telling the compiler that print my age the function print my age will return an integer value this can be either float that means it will return a float or a floating point value or it can be cat this will return a character uh, value. Uh, Python, I'm sorry. C as such cannot return strings or arrays. Keep that in mind. To deal with strings or arrays, you use some cannot return strings or arrays. It can accept uh, strings or arrays in functions, but then it can't cannot uh, return strings or arrays. To manipulate strings or arrays after passing it uh, into a function, you will have to use something called pointers. That is uh, a beast in itself. We'll come to that later. For now, we'll stick with it. Uh, and I'm simply opening and closing the back uh, brackets over here because I'm still declaring my variable. Uh, sorry, declaring my function. Now oh, here's my semicolon. Now uh, I'll come a little below and say in print my age. Now I'm going to define my function. So I'm going to tell the C and tell C what my function is going to do. So uh, in age, I'm I'm going to accept a uh, variable called a. Yeah, I'm going to accept a variable called a, and what I'm going to ask my function to do is I'm going to print f. Uh, so page a. All I'm going to do is I'm going to pass a number to a in, to the uh, print my age function, and I'm going to print it. Then I'm going to say uh, return zero. Uh, why? Because I'm here specifically told that I'm going to return an int uh, value to the compiler. If I don't want to do, I mean, if I like, say I'm not interested, I can just write void also, B O I D. Uh, so that means I'm not, I don't have to return this. Uh, email. Okay. After this, we'll do something a little interesting. Okay. Uh, before that. Good. So. Uh, if the function is returning void, should we still mention uh, the the um, int function or char function? Uh, you'll have to. It will be like void. So like, void is like a data type as such. Oh, void okay. is used as a data type, so it will be like this. Uh, so we say void, and here also it will be void. Yeah. Fine. I'm going to say print my age and I'm going to pass the variable B. And before that, I will scan left. Uh, 
what I'm doing is I'm accepting accepting a uh, number uh, B from the user, and I'm printing the number and returning it back to the main to the control to the main function. So here we'll learn. I mean, we'll look into two particular keywords as such. One is what is a parameter. This is a parameter. Uh, you are setting the limits to what can be passed into a function. Those are the parameters. This is the argument. Uh, this is something you are passing into the that is uh, when using the function, you are uh, passing it. Uh, as such, int a over here is a local variable. And you're going to use it locally. Uh, like if you try printing a over here, like a hey man, I don't know what a is. So uh, a has a is a local variable. Uh, uh, and then this is a parameter and sorry, this is a parameter and this is an argument. So let's like, keep that in mind. Um, run this. Uh, this one coming. So show me. Does it? That's it. Yeah. Cool. Now, so you understood the how functions are to be declared, defined, and how are they to be used in a C program, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll do something useful with this. So uh, let's say you want to take a person's uh, age and see if they're eligible or not. It's a pretty straightforward uh, program. Like we have been going in circles around the same program. Uh, trust me, there are some interesting uh, things coming up. Uh, yeah, but then this is it for now. So I am going to call my function eligibility. I have now have declared the function. I'm going to say in main. So you may ask me why should you not uh, initialize main? Main is a keyword. So you don't have to initialize it. C knows what it is already. I'm going to say printf. If I don't give backslash, it will ask for the scan of in the same statement. So it's for formatting using the such. H. So I'm using a variable H. So I'm going to go to the top here and declare it so that I don't get an error here. Also, you notice that I didn't put simple in the Oh. We are in a point where we'll have to pass this age to our uh, function. Now uh, let's do something. Let's write our uh, define our function eligibility. So let's say in, say accept. Uh, I'm going to set the parameters as an integer. I have an age. And now let's mark out those. Let's call it. Okay. This could be. Now we say if a is greater than is greater than 18. Yeah. So return. Unscrew the uh, computer language. Else. Uh, return. Zero. OK. Uh, oh. Um, eligibility of age to zero. Else, so that's cool. Now let's see what you have exactly done over there. So I'm asking the compiler to see. Uh, I'm asking the compiler to run this function over here. Here it creates a. Uh, absolutely temporary uh, variable just for evaluating this operation. 
now uh, now as soon as this function is called you call a function right so we call the function with uh, passing the arguments of h whose parameters is to accept the uh, integer type value uh, now you say if a is greater i mean h is greater than 80 you will return 1 so it means 2 so here the if, if statement becomes false and comes in print and display uh, you understand the program right Uh, yeah. Enter my age and 12 years old, not at school. Enter my age and 18 years old. But I don't work for 18 because I didn't give greater than or equal to. So it's 19 years. M minus So this is not the best way to write this particular program. But then the point I'm trying to make is. Uh, the how uh, values flow when you write functions. So I hope. But Aditya, uh, yeah, go uh, on. we are using the eligibility function inside the main function, right? So shouldn't the eligibility function be de declared and defined before the main function? Uh, OK, compilers uh, compile the whole code, then they uh, try executing it. Interpreters, on the other hand, don't do that. So C uses a compiler. So compilers, you don't need. I mean, like uh, it doesn't matter. Let's say, let's put it that way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in Python and all, uh, you'll have to do that. Like uh, if you're uh, uh, calling a function alpha, okay, and you have a main function. The if you use the main, like in the main function, you're using the function alpha. If you call the main function in uh, alpha, it won't work. If you if you hadn't declared alpha already, since you have declared this, compiler as such will look for this. Okay, so like uh, just because it's a compiler, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. like that's a genuine. Like even I had the doubt. Like uh, because I came from Python. Like in Python, you have to uh, if you're using a function, it has to be already declared. Only then will you be able to use it. So it uh, like I'll show you an example of uh, where that was implemented in that program in, in one of the programs I prefer. So yeah. Uh, okay. So can you write a calculator now? So that should be easy using functions. So you'll uh, use write a function for summing, you write a function for uh, so subtraction, multiplication, and division. And then you'll have a main function where you will uh, accept the choice from the user uh, and uh, run the appropriate function. Yep. Can you share the link again? Okay, this one. Yeah, I would like to say one more thing. Like if you declare, if your if your arguments contain more variables, you can put in comma and say int three. Uh, that also works. Like that's the syntax of how you do it. So like if you're passing two, I mean like if your uh, par parameters contain two variables, you will have to pass two variables. I mean two variables or constants as such. You got the point, right? I think uh, Aditya, what you're doing, the function define. See, you have defined, uh, you have uh, declared the function and then define the function like in a separate place, right? Isn't yeah. that kind of, um, is that necessary? Can't we declare and define in the same place? Uh, it looks neat as such. Um, if you're, if you have, let's say you have 100 functions in your uh, program. So like you can't like scroll all the time, you can just index it. Uh, like code editors and proper like VS Code and all has indexing like that. You can just play, uh, uh, hold Alt and click on the function. It will take you to where the function is defined. Just for uh, let's say it's best practices. Okay, okay, fine. Like um, like people who do it the best have told. I mean, like have told us to do it this way. So it's better to follow it. Like yeah. there's nothing wrong in doing that also. Uh, uh, putting uh, in the eligibility over here, uh, but then it's better to do this. So 
So yeah, calculator. Ten minutes. There was a question given. Now that's what happened. Yeah, hey, you guys can keep the screen sharing so that people won't have confusion with the syntax. Oh, oh yeah, for sure.
I did it for just addition and subtraction. For? Uh, the calculator thing, only for addition and subtraction. Can I show it to us? Just a second. Um, I haven't done subtraction yet. Huh, yeah, I'll share my screen. Yeah, sure. Okay. Can you see it? Because I'm sharing through my incognito, they might have problems. Which screen are you able to see now? Hmm. Yeah, so um, these are the two functions I declared add, uh, which will return the sum of this uh, two number, two variables. Okay. Subtract, uh, which will return the uh, difference of these two variables. Uh, yeah, so I accept the two numbers from the user, then ask what to do. Uh, use that to use the function. Like if it is one, which is add, put that function here. Print whatever the function returns as a string. Yeah, that's pretty much the rest to this. And we'll do the same thing for uh, what is it? Uh, division and multiplication. Yeah, but do you want me to do it now? No, no, no that was okay. Uh, like, I would like to add something now. Um, when you're uh, like, like few classes ago, I was uh, telling about uh, how would, uh, what's the difference between if else and uh, switch case? Hmm. Okay, so, so here we can use the switch case. Exactly. Hmm. It would become easier. Like, if, if, like, assuming, let's say this is your calculator, you want to add more functions to it. Just add more cases instead of doing else if else if else if else. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we we'll do one more question. Huh, I forgot the syntax for the switch case, but I'll check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty common. Like if you don't uh, keep uh, practicing it, it's not uh, that I mean, you, you don't remember the, that kind of stuff very easily. Okay. So, I say, can you wait for uh, one more minute, please? I want to show this thing uh, which I've done. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I can do. It. Oh, wait, I'm showing. Uh, see, okay, is it visible? It is visible. Uh, it is showing many errors, so. Okay, okay. There is a semicolon missing in the in statement. Line wait, 17. Sir. It's semicolon missing in the 17. In. Okay. Uh, and you don't need comma between the inside the printf statement. Okay, I just put it now. Don't close and open also. Just keep it open from one end to the other. Yeah, like. I got you, got you.
uh, like this, right? Yeah. Anything more? Uh, like in the if choice equal to one, uh, line 27, uh, hmm. you don't need to enclose the function in brackets. This one? Yeah, that's not necessary. Yeah, okay, that's really this. Necessary. This should run, right? Yeah, it should run. Uh, okay. Wait, but uh, when he is declaring the function sum, I mean, he, when he is defining the function sum, shouldn't he mention the type of those uh, local variables A and B? Yeah, he should. Like the, that's why there's a warning uh, over here. Type A defaults to in. Then implicit, uh, like implicitly, the compiler is smart enough to tell that it's in. I mean, like oh, okay. declare that I think. Uh, so where should I declare this A and B? Uh, no, no, like it, you should declare it there only. You should just say int A and int B. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, this should run, I think. Yeah, also it's better to say int sum, int A and int B, like line 32. I declared uh, int uh, sum already, so should I declare it again? You're not declaring it again. You're defining it. So while defining, okay. you'll have to say it's in sum. Line 32. Line 32. Okay, wait, wait. But yes. he has already done it in the 10th line, right? Say int sum. Yes. Then why again? Okay. Now he's defining it. So he, you will have to tell it. Like uh, this is going to give you an integer type. Uh, here also I have to put in a plus in no, no, no. b. This should run. And uh, so I will put one. Stop the code. Five, six. Oh, done. Thank you. Uh, wait a minute. Like, how was it printing even without returning the value? So that's what I'm thinking. Like, he hasn't returned sum from the function. So, like, where is it taking the sum? Like, is it like globally declared as such? No, I declared int as sum, right? Yes, but then you didn't return it. Like, I'm not sure how it's running without returning. Hmm. Uh, I also don't no, know return, that. It's not possible to run. Uh, Okay, I'll check that and come. Okay, so should yeah, I change yeah. anything? Yeah, actually you should change. So in the next line, you should say return sum. Like okay. in the, in he has written sum is equal to a plus b, no? I yeah, think in print. Uh, so, uh, but then he didn't return it. Like it's there inside the uh, yeah, sum function, that's all. Uh, so I'm not sure like uh, where is it taking the value from like is it the compiler doing something as such? Because in that book it's uh, you're supposed to give uh, now now try running it. Same nothing is changing actually. Yeah, okay. But then object your solution is uh, slightly more efficient because uh, um, like we directly return the operation itself. Huh. Those are works, but then I'm not sure. Like, why is it not uh, like uh, throwing an error for not returning anything despite the fact that we've given in game? Okay, I'll see if it's a compiler thing here and let you. Know. Okay, okay. So the next question. Uh, pretty straightforward. I want you to find the sum of uh, n factorial. So uh, it will be like one factorial. If I say if n is seven, uh, the uh, the program should compute one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial plus four factorial plus five till seven factorial. So effectively what I want you to do is I want you to write a function to find the factorial. OK, too easy. And then sum it up, sum it up with the uh, in the uh, main function. 
at the end of the main function, I want it to return the, uh, I mean, it return the value. That's all I want. Uh, like, do you want me to do as uh, you are doing? Uh, like, will you see like C and do as such? Like, other than Abhijit. <laughs> Okay then, um, I and Aditya will have a race. You really want to do that now? <laughs> um, okay, um, okay, maybe later, but uh, I guess you, you can do it simultaneously. We won't see. Okay, so if I share my screen, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, I can. Uh, I don't you know. won't ask me if others want me to do it. Uh, can yeah, you repeat the question once again, Aditya? Yeah. So, like, uh, like if I give a number seven, uh, I okay. want, I want your computer to do. I mean, I want your program to compute one factorial plus two factorial plus three factorial until seven factorial. Okay, but so screen share. You know, let's have a race. It'll be fun. And uh, you'll have to compute to five factors. That's, that's the value. So we don't need to accept any uh, input from. You'll have to accept. Like it should be standardized.
Yeah, just a second. Uh, I have a lot of syntax errors. Uh, I had a doubt here. Uh, can't we use array here? We'll use array. Huh? Uh, like how? Like uh, for this kind of sums, we also did in logarithm, right? So that time we used an array. To store the uh, seven factorial, six factorial, uh, consecutive factorials, and in the end, I will just add up the uh, miss boxes of the area, and I would get the answer. It would make the problem very short, right? Oh, First, you have to declare an array, then you have to write, write a loop to write every, everything to that array. Then you have no, to. We are a... already using a loop, right? We are already using it. so inside that we use another loop to fill the array itself uh, and it would work right. Uh, okay, the question is why would you do something like that when it's simpler? Array is always always heavier than single variable. Okay. Another like, I hope that convinced you. Ah, got it back. Actually, we did this kind of thing in logarithm, right? So I was trying to link it with that only. Like I was it an e question? I think like I don't remember doing anything like this. Uh, in Florism last time we did no actually when we used to miss I used to make that calculator thing. Uh, so we used oh. uh, a, a sum for vector sums and all everything like that. Uh, we used to store it and then print it right. Uh, 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 I don't think so that's. Better than this as such. I mean, you can implement something like that, but then I don't think so that's better than this. Okay, and then uh, I was just asking the reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. so with this, the class phase over. Uh, you can ask uh, any doubts as such. It's not the recording though.